What's up guys, Mikas here for the Electronic Music Jam Sessions. This is episode 28, we're moving forward again and again, making very, very style, some more EDM, some more eclectic, some more original, some more, you know, trendy actual, and today we're gonna make some melodic techno. Simply gonna dive into the session immediately. What I've done here is I've prepared a session, I set up a kick, very simple kick here. I loaded a few cents in, set up the BPM to 123, 96 kilohertz, and then I'm gonna start jamming. So I hope I can get uh, something good with this bass line here. I loaded this bass line, it's very techno. Oop, I'm a bit low here. It's very... I mean, you know this bass line, you have to know this bass line. This is so common in, in melodic techno, it's like a moog. A very moogy classic synth bass line. So I'm gonna start by hopefully laying down a riff because I already have the kick. So let's go for it. Mm, a bit too low. That's, that's a nice key. It's a D. F. F work well, D work well. C not so good with those. Something like that. Let's look at what we recorded. Something like that around here. Cue it. That's. It yeah, just seem to be a part missing. Oh, I started here. Round seven. I like this this little down. Shift this. I'm gonna keep the part overlapping a little bit because I don't want the the, the bass to hit every time. It's important. It's gonna hit on every every two bars. Sorry, every four bars. So I'm gonna bring this to the edge here. Maybe maybe I leave a bit of a space. Maybe I could do an inversion for the other one. Mm, no, I, I would probably bring it all the way. An inversion would mean I would uh, bring this one here and bring this one here. So, of course, delete this one here. Yeah, no, I don't like it like that, so I'm just gonna make it straight. It's good enough pattern to start building a track. Can make it more complex a bit later. I'm gonna join these. Oh, I have the middle, so. So what I want to do is to keep this drone type without having this effect. So overlapping the notes together is gonna keep this feeling we're looking for. Oh. I think we're good for that. Do you have a cutoff to play with here too? I had a feeling when I was starting to make this track I was thinking I would like some noise so using alchemy of course Trying to. Is there some noise here? All? Uh, 
natural phrases mono genre noise is there a noise here no there's no noise search ah noise like some noise please I'll take noise lead I'm gonna try that not with those space pattern though oh something happened that I'm not aware of here uh, bring back the musical key it's not quite not quite the noise I was looking for bass noise 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 and beautiful sign harp bell oh, just straight up noise Noise, storm, sweep. Let's see what. looking for but I'll take it you know sometimes it comes in waves or not okay, I have to go deep oh. almost sound better if it'd be longer this thing here uh, we just go typing join those pieces see because it seemed to be evolving nicely see kind of womp like a little like a smooth coming in like a brass is coming in smoothly so bring back the musical type thing oh scheiße Sound good, not what I was looking for for now.
like that, I would say. Oh, oh. Just wanted to select the one here, quantize it a little bit. Oh, oh. So, timing is a bit off here, I think. But we're gonna get what we want eventually. This should be a bit longer here, maybe. transition is here. Oh, just one? Maybe that will work then. Something like this. No, not at all. Well then... That's good. That's annoying. I want it to be right. This is just. I guess it's, I guess. It's not about right. bit with this noise pattern here for a second. Let's see if the cutoff is good. Oh yeah. at this one a bit further.
is interesting, see the least. Uh-oh, and didn't catch the note. I just need some chucka chucka, some some. I wouldn't call those plugs, but... I'm gonna keep on going in the keys, because this is not what I was looking for, but I think it works, so... about what I was looking for. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why I'm always end up doing this. So hopefully I'm not gonna destroy it with the quantize. No, that is tight. So just a background groove key, you know, to to keep everything in, I would say in place while while the, the track evolve this is always like it's a constant it's not necessarily a percussion but now we can check what else can we put in there Okay, I'm gonna continue with a little bit of percussions in there for sure. Oh, well, that's my part. About here.
This is episode 28, guys. <laughs> I actually typed episode 28, guys. While I'm saving this track, I want to let you guys know if you're watching, the concept of the show is very simple. I create a track like I've been creating for the last couple of minutes with you guys. I tell what's happening, and then you can actually get this exact project file on our site for only five bucks. Some people say, oh, why don't you put it for free? I say, look, man, I put my life work, you know, 20 years of my life into my music production. I give it to you, like literally for five bucks, all of this knowledge, all that I accumulated, how did I'm able to actually create a track like that in a couple of minutes is only because I spend maybe 15 to 20,000 hours in the studio making music, you know, in the computer, in the machine to put all my money into it. So I think five bucks is a good price. And if you want to try a price, check the video until the end or... Maybe, you know, scroll, but whatever. So, for a track like that, I would like maybe some uh, more hats. Or some shakers. No, let's keep it super, super minimally. Claps. Some claps here. Claps would be a good one. I would just do the clap here. We'll clap like that with a bit of a delay to make it draw a little bit into the track. It's gonna sound good. Somehow, some missing here. That I also like. So, this delay so your ears don't perceive it at the same time. That's a really good trick. So, I think I will leave it like that. Now that we have this uh, track on the way, I'm gonna reopen this noise pattern here because there's a bit more in the top end. That's good. It's like a nice, because I don't want to overdo the percussions if I already have this. See the tambourine down here, it could be interesting if we bring it properly. Bring it equally here. Definitely a lot more in the background. Nonetheless, works.
cut on there, that's what I was looking for. Let's look where we had guys, 27 minutes, okay, so I'm gonna start start building a track a little bit for you guys and as I previously said this will go on to our site we make dance music.com as a melodic techno type play I think I think I hit it pretty good with the melodic techno thing of course it's always subject to people's opinion maybe some it is this is not melodic techno for me it is melodic techno I mean whatever so what we're gonna do so I have already a two minute sequence prepared here, so puck, puck, puck. So we have two minutes. So how should we kick this one off? I mean, it's not a full track, but I still, you know, want to, to bring something really right away. Automate the cutoff here, so touch. I'm gonna show the automations here. I'm gonna go back into read because I don't want to. Alchemy cutoff is right here, perfect. Pretty cool for a start. I'm not gonna make a super complex track out of this. Maybe if I cut these for the intro. No. I feel I like it like that. I don't see why I would change it. These are perfect for techno. of a, a tease here not the whole keys but a tease actually working with the T's here it would have to be too long and then we would reveal too much of the track so we don't want that but here let's see the bass should I would cut this here focus on the bass as much as possible and here Literally kick and remove some of the percussions. Up. So we're getting in here. Since it's gonna come in. All right, 
Alright guys, so this is everything for episode 28 of the Electronic Music Jam Sessions. If it's your first episode, check out the other episode because there's a lot of stuff. I cover a lot of music production styles, always from scratch or mainly, maybe some MIDI sometimes. I experiment with style, I bring some MIDI, I did an episode with only samples, I'm doing stuff, you know, to make some cool music with you that with you guys and share it like as as like maybe a tutorial and if you want to get the template put it along you know the video wow man get a really cool way to learn to make a track for dirt cheap you know you don't have to go to school and spend thousands of dollars stay home and learn if this is your thing obviously if not i don't know what to say man but uh if you're still watching you earn yourself a half price product or as many products as you actually want to buy on WeMakeSenseMusic.com just enter my name Mikas M-I-K-A-S and if you're bored and you don't know what to do you also can go on Beatport, Spotify and whichever and enter my name you're gonna see I have a lot of releases a lot of different genres of music progressive progressive break trance uh, you know my tracks got played by top DJs and stuff but this is all whatever so until next time guys may the sounds be with you